let's get into it guys i'm really excited to show you guys this package uh, i've opened it all up i've changed my shirt everything's in really good condition really really happy with it let's get into it so as i said earlier this pretty much finishes my ps1 set uh, i've had a list of games i've been collecting for about five years now uh, my first initial list this completes that uh, there are a couple heavy hitters that i do want for the collection but uh, for my initial collection i wanted my childhood games and to fill out series for example if i wanted cool borders 3 then i wanted to get cool borders 1 2 3 and 4 collection a lot of these are subsets that i have finished which is really cool i uh, hope to show you guys a ps1 collection video in the upcoming future so here we have cool borders 3 and cool borders 1 of course, I already had Cool Borders 2 and 4. Uh, lots of memories of these games. They're really, really fun snowboarding games. It's a shame that they don't actually make Cool Borders anymore. I still love playing like SSX on PS3, but um, yeah, snowboarding games back on PS1 is where it started for me and Cool Borders series. Glad to have these ones in the collection. And then next we have V Rally 2. Now I never actually played V Rally 2 growing up, but I did play a lot of V Rally 1. Of course, having V Rally 1, I wanted to have V Rally 2 in the collection. Uh, cheap title, but nevertheless, it is a little bit harder to find over in Australia, so I did it. V Rally 2. I did actually swap the case out. Why well, it's got an MA15 plus case on it. The case that it had it actually snapped in half. But I had a few spare cases that were able to swap. Here we have Medieval. I don't actually have Medieval 2, guys. Um, I hope to get that one in the future. It's one of a few games that I still don't have in the collection. But I did um, play Medieval 1 not too back in the day. So I was really excited to have this one. It is complete. The, um, the artwork's just... I replayed this recently on PS4, which was really nostalgic. That's awesome to have the original PS1 copy. I believe I owned a demo copy back in the day. I don't think I actually had a copy of the game. But I remember playing a heap of the demo. As I'm sure a lot of you guys did back in the day. You know, especially that PS1, PS2 era, there were lots of demos. Another series I absolutely loved, and that was Road Rash, guys. Did you ever play Road Rash? So much fun. I believe they tried to redo these games on PS4, and it just wasn't the same. It wasn't even close. So much memories of these games. Uh, there are a couple more Road Rash games, but Road Rash 3D has to have. Really, really exciting to get this one in the collection. Oh, right, so I've got number three and four of this, but we didn't have one and two. That, of course, is the OGs, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, PS1. Hear the soundtrack already. I recently replayed this on PS4, and I had a blast. I think I put like 100 hours into it. It still stands up today, guys. Amazing games. I now have all four of them on PS1. Uh, one of my favorite series growing up. I love my skating games. Even the skate series is great, but I'm very grateful to have these in the collection. I believe these actually got PS2 releases as well, so I need to get them. I'm double dipping, it's amazing games, so I don't mind doing that. Now here's one I grabbed. I didn't actually play this back in the day, but um, I am quite interested in games like this. So here we have Risk. I have played this on PC, I guess. Sort of like a turn-based strategy type game. Ah, oh, okay, and then... Sequel... Uh, Mr. is a sequel to something. Be I feel like it's something else. 
I can literally picture the game in my head. Okay, this one's really cool. It's a charity pack triple pack. It's actually a really good price. It contains Mist, Road Rash, the first one, and Broken Sword. Really, really interesting pack. Uh, three games I really wanted for the collection. Funnily enough, it was cheaper to buy this triple pack than buy any of <laughs> So I jumped on that. And it's a really nice pack too. I love these big double cases. Here we have the Help triple pack with Road Rash, Broken Sword, and Mist. And here we have Risk. Sorry, I'm I'm really want to know what Mist is. Riven, Riven, Riven is the sequel to Mist. <laughs> That's it. There's so people watching this screaming, Riven, Figsy, it's Riven. <laughs> oh, they're like click and point type. Um, adventure games, they're quite fun, uh, playing similar games on PS1. I do want to track um, Riven down in the future. It is pretty expensive in Australia, but it's a cheap game over in the UK, so essentially it. Uh, here we have another cheapie that I just didn't have in the collection. Had this a few times, but I've never had a complete copy. I've either had a platinum copy or it's been missing the manual. It's nice to finally complete my driver collection. I've got driver 2, and here is driver 1. I absolutely love San Francisco. I've heard Driver, the first one's got like the hardest intro. Uh, so let me know if you played the first or the second one. I really like the color of the title, how it uses the black and the white. Oh, guys, a classic. And this is actually expensive to get a black label coffee. Like, you're looking at. $50 plus in Australia, and I've been looking for four or five years. This is essential to me and my brother's childhood. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I've played this game. I had a platinum copy, and I sold that because my OCD didn't have platinum. Finally got a black label copy of Disney's Hercules. Oh, guys, this was a classic. Played through it so many times. I remember getting, like, the cheat code so you can get back to the level. It wasn't a cheat code. It was like a... Like a reward for getting like a checkpoint, but they didn't really have checkpoints back in the day, so it gave you a code. You type that code in back to Ah, oh, how good was Hercules, but guys, I'm gonna have to play this again. Such a classic. Glad to finally have it in my collection, a black label copy. Ah, I'm so Alright guys, and here is a very, very special series to me. A series that I actually still play today, I still play my PS1 copy. And um, my friend got up me telling him this, some of you guys might agree, some might disagree. So I had, um, this, this is a my copy, I had a classics copy, which has got the um, picture very small. My childhood copy, but I have now bought a black label. I do upgrade all my games to Black Label eventually, and that is Theme Park World. I've put hundreds and hundreds of... I actually was playing my PS1 copy last year. I still play this game today. It is amazing. If you haven't played Theme Park World, and you like you like Sim Skitty, City, City Skyline type games, give this a go, because it's amazing. Like, it even stands up today. Uh, with that, I got the rest of the theme game, so I've got Theme Hospital. Um, I actually already had a disc to this, so I just bought the case, and the manual, and complete. And of course, with Theme Park World, I had to get Theme Park, the first one. I haven't played the first one, but if it's anything like Theme Park World, I'm sure it's amazing. Then we have all the theme parks, so those Theme Hospital titles on PS1. Oh, guys, this is a classic series. I never played the first one growing up. I played the second one, but I had to track the first one down as well. So here we have Vigilant 8. And the one that I owned as a kid, Vigilant 8 Second Offense. Guys, if you haven't played this, oh my god. The reason this game's going for like $100. Um, I didn't play Twisted Metal back in the day, but this was my Twisted Metal. Uh, basically, you had vehicles... You Drove around the map picking up power-ups, and it was a destruction derby. You had to blow everyone up. <coughs> and it was so good. 
so good. I believe it was four player. Okay, it was two player. We used to have all our friends come around and we would play this game for hours, guys. Um, it's got a picture of all the different vehicles you can use. The truck, the bus, the motorbike. Oh, it was so much fun. Each map had different like checkpoints of things to do, like you shot a rocket up into the sky and Ah, oh, such a good game. I'm so happy to finally have these in the collection. That's two games. Like I've been collecting for ten years. I'm finally getting my childhood games now. It was just I used to look and be like, I'm not spending a hundred and dollars on like in Australia, it wouldn't even be a complete copy. So grateful for Ibra for helping me track all my childhood games. Vigilant 8, Second Offense, and Classics, guys. Absolute classic. Speaking of classics, what collection isn't complete without every Grand Theft Auto game? The last Grand Theft Auto game I needed for my PlayStation collection, it is Grand Theft Auto London. I never thought I would own the um, London Double Pack, but as you guys know, I picked one up early this year. With that, I had to track the rest of the Grand Theft Auto games, and I've done that now. So this is GTA London. I'll have to um, do a full Grand Theft Auto video in the future. That'll be pretty cool. I've got some rarer Grand Theft Auto pieces, so it actually will be a cutting video. Yeah, so let me know. Do you guys want to see a full GTA video? Collection video? Let me know in the comments on that one. Maybe I could do a Rockstar one. What would you guys rather see? A Rockstar collection or a Grand Theft Auto? Hey, you guys might remember I actually finished my Final Fantasy PS1 collection recently. Um, and I did that by buying a big lot on eBay for a really good price. But prior to that, I bought the two last... Um, games I needed on eBay in the UK. I got them for a pretty good price. Um, but now I've already got them. I'll probably be reselling these on because I do have Australian copies. Uh, so in Australia, we actually got a double pack for this. But the rest of Europe got a single pack. And this is Final Fantasy VI. And it's complete. And it contains the Final Fantasy and demo. It's a really, really nice condition. Um, but for me, it's a double. Uh, and so being an eBay full time reseller, I'll probably be. Selling this one in the future. So if you are interested, it will be for sale or for trades. And the same goes for this next title, an even bigger hitter. That is Final Fantasy Anthology. This is the European edition. Like I said, I've got the Australian version, which I actually didn't even know existed until I bought this pack. Yeah, so pretty crazy. But. Prior to that, I was building a really exciting package with everything I wanted, so I was just, I was stoked to have found that package. But there was one, well, actually two, but there was two spin-off Final Fantasy titles I didn't own. Uh, one of them I still don't own. It's like $500. <laughs> but I did get the other one. That is Riggs. I, I probably mispronounced that. It's a Final Fantasy spin-off fighting title. I go to like 150 to 200, but this copy is absolutely fantastic, guys. Like the plastic feels brand new, literally like they gutted a sealed game and put, or they've opened the seal, straight in the collection, pulled it out and sold. Uh, I've been looking for this for a very, very long time. I got it for a good price. I think I paid 60, so 60 pounds, which is like 110 dollars or something. This condition, I'm very stoked, guys. I even believe it's got the um, promotional card inside. And so the other PS1 Final Fantasy title I don't own in here. Coco Boko Racing. One day, guys. One day. We have the Reeks. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a part of the charm. Moving on, the package is not over, guys. And especially Australian collectors, you'll know how hard it is in Australia to get black label, complete PS1 titles. Yeah, so I definitely wouldn't have been able to do this without the help from the UK. So, Ibra, thanks again, man. I probably said that like four or five times. 
I've got a big package for you. I can't wait to send it out. It's got some really exciting things in it, but I'm really, really grateful for this package. It arrived in fantastic condition and it pretty much completes my PS1 collection. Didn't know if I'd ever be able to say that. Now I look at my PS1 collection. Games missing from it. Really cool. Another big one for me, Tekken 3. One of my favorite titles growing up, and this is a very, very good condition copy of it. Tekken 3, I was missing Tekken 2. Oh, well, that means we also got Tekken 2, guys. And this is the big box. I already had Tekken 1, so I've now got the trilogy of Tekken games. Um, I actually am missing Tekken 4 on PS2, which isn't an expensive game or anything. Um, I will have to track that down to complete my Tekken collection. Um, but the ones that I was after were these ones, Tekken 2 and Tekken 3 on PS1. Now I've got them. I've completed my Tekken collection on PS1. Stoked. Tekken was my favorite and still is my favorite fighting game of all time. For me, it started on the PS1 and it actually started with this one here, Tekken 3. Last lot of games, and possibly my favorite PS1 game of all time. I finally got a black label copy. Two of them. This is my favorite, but here we have Spyro the Dragon. And number three, Spyro Year of the Dragon. I've since got the Platinum on PS4. I absolutely love this game. I had a Platinum copy. I remember I got Christmas as a kid. Absolutely loved it. Like all my Spyro games, they were all platinum. I have since bought black label copies of all of them. And finally, I've completed my Spyro collection. Wow. I am stoked. Some amazing titles. If you haven't played Year of the Dragon, do yourself a favor. It's such a good game. Now, like all the videos, i got to do a stack for you guys. Be a little bit careful because they're all PS1 titles and how fragile these cases are. Back it up. Yeah, baby. Back. Back to be proud of. yeah guys how crazy was that um two ps1 videos in a week i didn't think that was gonna be a thing um looks like we might even have a third one now that my ps1 collections at this point i need to get a video out for you guys uh if not a video every individual title will be a slow pan of the shelves so you can see all the titles uh, hopefully that'll be coming out soon um we've got podcast tomorrow guys videos coming out every couple of days i'm gonna um, put out a couple of shorts this month to see if um, that helps my YouTube channel. YouTube have been suggesting it, so if they tell me to do it, why not? Let's give it a go. Again, thanks to Ibra for this amazing package. Again, I couldn't have done this without you, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Will for the awesome thumbnail. Uh, Will does an amazing job with most of these thumbnails. Don't give me any credit. Uh, Will's an artist there. Like the video, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Say something below. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.